What is going on Wastelanders, it is me Lone Vault Wanderer and welcome to my brand new mod overhaul series. Each video in this series will be dedicated to overhauling your games with mods to make them look, feel and play different according to a different theme each video. For example, my next episode will be about how to make your Fallout 4 game look and play like Fallout New Vegas. But in this episode, I will be showing you the best mods I've found that give Fallout 4 an ultra realistic look, changing your game from looking like this to looking like this. All mods to achieve this effect are listed in the description below. If you want to see this series continue, please like, comment and share with as many people as possible. I would really appreciate it. But with all that out of the way, let's get into the mods. First of all, a preliminary, we are not starting off with a mod, but just a suggestion. Turn off God Rays in your game. For many PCs, God Rays with quality set from anywhere, from low to high, cause weird blocky aliasing effects around the edges of weapons and characters. This problem does not exist if you're running God Rays at Ultra, but this can be a huge toll on your system and take a bunch of frames off your game. But even if you can manage Ultra God Rays, I honestly do believe that turning God Rays off just makes your game look a lot better. Things just don't seem so drowned out in light. But hey, that's just my personal preference. So the first actual mod we have is the Graphics Texture Overhaul 2.1 by Kujin. This mod is relatively simple but effective. It adds sharpness and contrast to most textures in the game, including actors, armor, interiors, landscape, cars, and so on. This is a great base mod to install first before anything else, and then any other following mods can simply overwrite this mod. Second we have Radiant Clouds and Fogs by Manga Club. This mod replaces almost all Fallout 4 clouds as well as the distant fogs in the mountains. It tries to give clouds more depth and intensity. The density and look of the clouds after the mod is installed is quite noticeable, and I believe they look much more lifelike. Thirdly, we have three different mods part of Hein 84's Vivid series, which include Vivid Fallout Landscapes, Vivid Fallout Trees, and Vivid Fallout Rocks. These mods overhaul the aforementioned respective assets by sharpening textures, adding new normal maps, and adding shadowing. The great thing about this mod is that not only does it make the assets look better and more realistic, the textures are in fact less VRAM heavy than the original ones, making your game run better. Fourth we have Sparrow Prince's Far Away Area Reform mod. This mod aims to make the distant terrain look more detailed. It adds a balanced amount of eye tweak noise to the distant terrain files. This gives the appearance of making it look more detailed. You also get a new bump map with lots more variants, as well as a fixed noise texture. This is fixed because the mod removes the fake red glow added by Bethesda. Fifth, we have Water Enhanced by Jmain2009. This mod enhances the vanilla textures for the water. It makes the water look a little bit more realistic, crisp, and clear. Note that the changes are much more visible in-game, especially if you have installed the 8K version. There are also lower resolution versions available, which still subtly improve the water in the game. Sixth, we have a little bit of green by Dragon Alex 155 which is an edited version of the original Touch of Green mod. This mod is quite simple. It just adds a little bit more green to the world of Fallout, making it look a bit nicer, more vibrant, and depending on your opinion, a bit more realistic. However, I chose Dragon Alex's realistic touch of green version because the green adjustments are more realistic and immersive than the original counterpart. The original one was just a bit too green for my liking. You still retain the wasteland feel, but do notice at least slightly more green in the world, which I believe adds to the realism. Seventh, we get to Valius's high resolution texture pack. This is a great mod that replaces a fair number of the in-game textures or meshes. More specifically, it replaces the game's textures for the office desk, filing cabinet, locker, tool rack, desk, wooden furniture, garage desks, desk fans, interior doors, and phone booths. You can really notice the changes. The mod makes the objects look much less blurry and more defined and realistic. Another great mod. Eighth is Gorgala's Texture Overhaul Pip-Boy mod. Considering we spent a lot of time in-game looking at the Pip-Boy, this is a fantastic mod that overhauls the Pip-Boy to make it look more high-res and realistic. Specifically, the improvements include up to 8 times the resolution for the Pip-Boy, subtle ambient occlusion on the model, normal map and diffuse together to give more depth, better improved normal map, new screws, cogs and lamp, and a completely remade holotape. 
and this is not just a simple recolor, although there is a black version available if you would like. Ninth is Cold Chaos's 4K HD textures for power armors. This mod upgrades all of the existing textures for the X01, T45, T51, and T60 power armors, including all of their variants, to 4K textures. The improvements are very noticeable and make the power armors look much more realistic and crisp. This mod also improves the jetpack, power armor frame, and the T60 Brotherhood of Steel logos. It's just an awesome mod that really brings the power armors to life. Now we get to the good bit. Tenth is where we talk about the best visual modification improvements to Fallout 4 with regards to things like lighting. I painstakingly tried a lot of different lighting tweaks, reshades, and EMBs to get what I believe to be the best combination of mods to make your game look ultra realistic. Firstly, we have FR4 NSONS's light tweaks. This mod aims to fix the outblown lights in Fallout 4 both indoors and outdoors, and also remove skylights. It does remove bloom as well if you'd like. This is just a nice subtle improvement that I believe to make the lighting a bit better. Next we have Grim Wolf's reshade and ENB presets. Now this mod author has a number of different reshades and ENBs on offer, but in my experience I found the best modification on offer here is simply his Brotherhood of Steel reshade. Note that this is not an ENB, it is just the reshade version but it makes a huge difference to the game and personally for me makes it look much more realistic and awesome. This reshade provides clean crisp visuals with dark shadows and deep contrast. By far one of my most favorite reshade mods available out there. And lastly, we have an ENB to top everything off. Specifically, this is the vanilla ENB by Despicable Mind. I believe this ENB to be the best one out there. It is not demanding on your system, but makes the game look more realistic and much more improved without taking away from the vanilla look or feel of the game. A lot of different ENBs out there do make the game look vastly different and they're great at doing that, but I believe Vanilla ENB ensures your game doesn't stray too far away from the vanilla look, but still makes huge improvements with regards to colour, gamma, brightness, contrast, saturation, and depth of field. Personally, I like to disable depth of field, but that's really up to you. And finally, we come to the end. I hope I've shown you at least a few mods out there to make your Fallout 4 game look as realistic as possible. Do you have any other suggestions for mods to achieve the same effect? Please let me know in the comments below. Again, like, comment, and share this video around. I would really appreciate it. If you want me to continue this series, the next video is going to be about how to make your game look, feel, and play like Fallout New Vegas. So until next time, this has been the Lone Vault Wanderer. Please take care of yourself, and as always, keep fighting the good fight.